do bicycle cable stretch? This is a controversial topic among cyclists. What are we doing and how do we so-called stretch a cable at the time of cable installation? And what about cable wear? Do the cable stretch with wear? This is our approach to both these questions. When installing a new cable on your bike, it's important to stretch that cable. What do we mean by that? First, make sure you're in the small chain ring, small cog. Go ahead and place the cable under the rear to rail or pinch bolt and firmly pull and tighten. Push down on the cable. Don't use Gorilla Force, you're going to bend or kink the cable. I don't know how much this really stretches the cable as much as places the housing of the uh, cable firmly in its stop. The same with the ferrules of the housing on the rear. Then holding the cable firmly, loosen, pull out the slack, and re-tighten. My preference, whether you have internal or external routing of the cable, is to place the chain in the small chain ring, and you can hold the derailleur if you want, and shift once or twice towards a larger cog and then back again. Go ahead and release the pinch bolt and take out the slack of the cable. This has the advantage of seating the ferrule of the cable housing in the cable stops without the chance of kinking the rear derailleur cable by pushing on it. One other comment. Cables probably do not stretch over time. What probably happens is that the fibers that make up the cable that are wound around each other will have micro breaks that may elongate the cable. The ferrules themselves, which nowadays are often plastic, may get compressed or crack or break, and this can lead to erratic shifting, suggesting replacing the cables. Other indicators of cable wear are discussed in our video in the upper right hand corner. These include hesitation when shifting, so called ghost shifting. That is, without, when you're out on the road without shifting, you notice that the chain keeps jumping from one cog to another, and you cannot cure the problem by fine-tuning or adjusting the barrel adjuster. Fraying of the cable, especially inside the shifter toward the end, indicate severe wear and the cable should be replaced as soon as possible. Getting a look at the end of the cable, how the ease of that will depend on the type of shifter you have. This is a uh, first generation uh, Shimano and fairly easy to get a good look at the end of the cable without re re removing it. Others, uh, newer generations, you may have to remove several bolts and you can get a look at the end of the uh, cable housing. If in doubt, should take down to your local bike shop. The cable should be checked about every, oh, I'd say 1,500-2,000 miles for any 9-10 speed. On some of the newer 11 and 12 speed, you should check that cable more often. If you have any comments on this idea of so-called cable stretch, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10, 10 Speed Safe Cycling.